So the summer before my senior year of college, I uh, got lucky and I snagged a man. Uh, and we had a whirlwind summer romance. Uh, we were very compatible. Uh, we both had the same favorite band, Dawes. I don't know if anyone here is familiar. Um, uh, we both uh, lived five minutes from each other. It was very nice, uh, very convenient. I could pop over any time, have some fun. Um, and, you know, sex was nice because I had not had it before that very regularly. <laughs> so this was a fun thing for me. Um, but September came and I had to go back to school and he didn't go to school. I went to school in San Diego um, and he lived, in, he lived and worked in L.A. So um, we had to kind of keep her, the distance, we, we, I, I became a long distance relationship. Um, so um, we, you know, we, we, we promised that we would try to keep in touch as best we can. Uh, we set up weekly calls. Um, but as I got back to school, I, I, I got pulled back into, you know, all, of, all the things that I was doing in school um, that I could do because I wasn't dating much. <laughs> I was in band, you know, I, I, had, I had to go to games, I had to I had to write for the paper. I had to write for the satire paper. Um, that's true. I wrote for two papers, um, and I, um, I just, I, I often found myself coming home at like ten or eleven, just so tired and just not able to to keep up with the calls. I could text a, a bit, but like towards the middle of the quarter, I could feel him getting really frustrated with, I guess, like the lack of contact between us and. I, I kind of thought I was, I, I really felt bad and I really wanted to find a way to make it up to him. Um, and so I, I, I was browsing, uh, uh, it turned out that on the last day of my, the, qu the quarter for me, like after our, my last final was over, Dawes was playing a show in LA and I would talk to him one week uh, and he told, he told me about it, he told me he got tickets and I was like, oh, it would be great if I could like surprise him, you know, I, I told him, you know, oh, I'm not going to be able to make it. I still have finals. Um, and I thought it would be great if I could surprise him, drive down um, and just show up at his apartment um, and just during our weekly scheduled call and be like, hey, you know, like, I'm here and let's, let's go and like, let's enjoy the show and let's go have three weeks of great sex. Um, or sex again. <laughs> um, and... So the day, the day of the finals, I, 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 I get in my car, I drive all the way up to, um, I drive from San Diego to um, LA, and on the way to San Diego, I, I get into K-Town, um, and I'm stuck behind a bus um, in, 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 in rush hour traffic. I'm, I haven't moved for about 15 minutes, and I'm getting really impatient. Um, the time of our call is ticking closer, and I really want it to be like outside, so like, you know, he was like, oh, how are you, where are you? I'd be like, I'm outside, and surprise him. So I, 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 I just, I started getting really antsy, and I, uh, I started to turn my car and go forward, um, but I misjudged the distance between my car and the bus, and I ended up hitting the bus. My car hit the bus, lifted up, so I was like this, and it came back down. And I had been in a little scrape in a parking lot before, and I, so I was the only thing I could compare it to, and I was like, that probably wasn't too bad, right? Um, <laughs> and so I got, I, I drove the rest of the way to his apartment thinking like, this is probably gonna be fine. Uh, it's probably gonna be fine. It was not fine. I parked the car, I get out, and I can see my right side bumper, the front part of it has come clean, almost clean off. Um, my headlight is broken, um, and, um, and the first thing that comes to my head is, oh my God, my, my parents are gonna kill me because their insurance premium is gonna go up. Um, and I, I, I'm panicking, but then I remembered like, oh my God, he can help me like, he can help me, um, cause he really like, he, he had worked on his car before. He had, um, we, he had redone uh, his car from, from, from scratch. Um, so um, that's how, that's how, that's, that's my knowledge of cars, by the way. He'd redone it from scratch. Um, and so um, I was like, great, and then, then we can like, spend time together that way. And as I'm, as I'm like, thinking about this, he, he, the call comes through, and I pick up, and I'm, I'm excited, and I'm like, I, 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 but I try to play it cool, because I like, still want to surprise him, so I'm like, hey. Um, and he's like, hey, how's it going? And I was like, oh, great. Uh, I, was, I was like, oh, it's, it's great, but I, I just got into a little accident. And, um, you know, I was hoping, like, when I get back, um, you know, you can help me, uh, you know, find, like, an auto body shop on the down low and 
help me put my bumper fixed for cheap. Um, and then he got really quiet, and I was like, is something wrong? And he asked me, do you just like want to hang out with me or talk to me when it's convenient for you? And I said, well, well, it's like I, I was totally thrown off by that, and uh, sorry. Um, and it, it, I think I realized at that moment too that I really hadn't been there for him. Like I, I, I really missed a lot of um, his attempts to, to, to call me and. And I, I got, I, I mean, I got a little defensive. I was like, look, I, I, I know I'm busy, but I, I, I promise, like, I'll, I'm here, I, I, I can come, I'm coming home, I, I can make it up to you. And he's, he says, no, it's, it's, it's like, you know, I think it's, he says, I think it's, I think it's probably best that, you know, like, it's, it's just, we just, it's, I know you're coming back, but I think if we get together again in these three weeks and you're going back to school, I don't think you can promise me that if we're not five minutes apart from each other that, you're gonna have enough time for me. And I say, I, at that point, I, I just, I have to concede. I say, okay, uh, I'm sorry. Um, and I hang up and I get back in my car and I just think about how pissed my parents are gonna be. <laughs> um, but I just, and I can't go to the concert at this point because I don't want to show up. So I drive home and I ring the doorbell and my parents open the door and they're surprised to see me because they hadn't been expecting me and they're so happy and I, this is the reaction that I wanted from him but I, I guess I'm getting it from them now and it, it, it kind of works to cheer me up. And they're like, how are you? And I'm like, I hit the car and they were like, that's not great but we're happy to see you, you know? <laughs> um, and they eventually, you know, got it. My dad actually took me to a shop on the, in Pomona to get my bumper replaced, so we did get it fixed on the down low and my insurance premium didn't go up. Um, but yeah, um, I guess that really taught me that, you know, relationships aren't about that one big romantic gesture that you think, um, it's really about the work that you put in uh, on the path along the way. Thank you. Kevin Chu, ladies and gentlemen.